Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Finally. What is this? Mm, I think I opened it right to its face in the camera. Bam. Yokomo YD2S. Man, $205, bro. Yeah. Got the kit. It comes with the gyro and nothing else. Got to put your own electronics on your own wheels and tires. Yeah, I can't wait to build this thing. Let's check it out. All right, before we get started, let's see what's in the box. Alright, cut that seal open. You're supposed to have that seal. Alright. It's like shocks and everything. Body post. Arms. Hubs. Bumper tools. Oils. Zip ties. Mm, servo horns. Battery holder. Anything else? Whoop. Here you go, YG302. Gyro already comes with it. It's pretty cool. All right, you got your plastic chassis. All right, that's it. And your manual. Ooh. Let's get on building. All right, got one tip for you before you start building. You gotta learn Japanese. Just kidding. <laughs> Everything's going to be in English, so yep. There you go. Pay attention to the direction of the parts, suspension, side opening, blah, blah, blah. It's pretty clear, straightforward. All right. Let's start with the chassis. All right, let's go. All right. Bag number one and the chassis. Let's go. All right, guys, so apparently all we're gonna need is a 2.0 and a 1.5 millimeter hexes. And guys, if your friends tell you to buy MIP, don't even think twice, guys. Just just buy the MIP, save yourself some money. I don't care if it's titanium coated or any of that crap, just buy MIP. Save yourself the money, The invest. just invest in the MIP. All right, let's keep going. That's just a side note. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've already put the, the brake support, battery support, um, steer holder, all right, suspension mount. Um, so apparently we're done with bag one. We have to move to bag two, but look at all the spare parts left. I wish they separated all that, but whatever. It is what it is. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, that's nice. That's the servo that comes with it. Uh, the gyro comes with it. It's not the best gyro, but hey, at least they give you one, right? All right, let's go. All right, so after search, I uh, finally found bag number two. This is ridiculous, man. Why can't all you RC makers be more like techno? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, all right, here we go. Bag number two. Let's go. All right, so here's the turnbuckle. And look at that. You got to measure. I don't know if that's, that's the exact measurement, but we're going to measure that right now. All right, 34 millimeters. 33.96. Close enough. I'm happy. All right, guys, I'm done with the steering assembly. The boat crank and everything in there. Now I'm on to the differential. <laughs> so you get the differential like this, right? I want you to pull it apart. And fill it up with the fluid. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. I'll, I'll pull it apart again to fill up the fluid. And look at the black grease. Come on, man. Come on. Really? <laughs> All right, let's go. 
All right, fill that diff up with the 10,000 diff oil, 10,000 weight oil. Moving on to bag number four, we're gonna be doing a gearbox. All right, let's go. All right, guys, just finished the gearbox, uh, um, greased it up inside and everything. Putting on the motor mount right now. I like that the motor mount, all the holes are all lined up. It shows you where exactly to put them. Like that, oops, like that. Lines up right there. Yep, all four screws and three by 12. Yep, ooh, all right, we got progress. Let's keep going. All right, got that motor mount on. On to the spur gear, 84 tooth spur gear. I believe it's a 48 pitch. Yep, 48 pitch spur gear and spur mount. All right, let's go. All right, so it's coming along nicely. All right, wants me to put the motor right now. I'm gonna do that later. Very nice, very nice. All right. What's next? All right, let's keep going. Battery tray. Battery plate. Plate stopper. All right, let's go. Aw, oh, snap. Aw, oh, snap. Aw, oh, snap. Literally, it snaps locked. <laughs> That's cool. All right, see a little button right there. Whoop, snap. Oh, snap. <laughs> what do you guys show for the motor mount? Yep. Comes with the 20 tooth pinion that it wants you to put there. Those are the screws for the motor. That's cool. All right, just wanted you to know. It's good. All right, on to bag number five for the servo. Got your servo horns, there are the screws. So one of the reasons why I bought this car, because man, the price, you just can't beat it. It's a Yokomo for $205. So, and I have all the parts I need. I have my Futaba receiver. This is an airplane receiver, by the way. I have a Futaba 3PV. I love using the airplane receivers. Why? Because they work. And they're only $29 a piece. So all my cars have that. It's a really good. And I have all these extra parts. I have extra aluminum servo horns. I got this extra high-speed servo from Hobby Star. I got them all for sale. So I got my old um, Hobby Wing Just Sock. I know it's only a 25.5 motor, but hey, man, you can still have fun with this motor. That combo, that was for my USVTA class racing. Indoor carpet track. It still has the 64 pitch in there. We're going to take that out, put in the, the 20 pitch that they gave you. Not 20 tooth, I mean. 22 tooth with the, oh yeah, 48 pitch. I mean, that's 48 pitch. This is 64 pitch. All right. So yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> one more thing, it's really killing my OCD, man. Remaining parts from bag number one. <laughs> so many remaining parts from bag number one. What's going on? <laughs> Why could you all put in one bag if you want me to fix this right now? All right, never mind. Just being OC, man. All right, so it shows here you got a servo saver. But on the paper it came with, it says here, servo and horn, servo horn bag number five has been changed. They're back to the servo horn, which I don't mind. Just letting y'all know in case you're looking for that servo saver. All right, got the servo and everything in. Yep. I like Hobby Star parts, so Hobby Star's aluminum servo, or aluminum servo horn. Hobby Star high speed servo. Yep, that's good now. All right. I also have a 120 amp, uh, 120 amp quick run Hobby Wing with a 5.5 turn motor, but <laughs> that's gonna be a little too much. So yeah, we're gonna do this 25.5 turn. It's gonna work, no worries. So pretty much the only thing I had to buy was the kit and wheels and tires because I also have a body laying around. Yep, you're going to see the finished product later. Let's keep going. All right, on to bag number six. Front shock tower, rear shock tower. More turnbuckles. I hate doing that. <laughs> More parts from bag number one. Bulkhead bridge, front bulkhead, 
Da 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 da. All right. Let's go. All right. Just finishing us on the bulkhead bridge. Now we're gonna put on the shock towers. Shock towers next. Oh, by the way, I took off the the servo horn, the aluminum servo horn. I don't like the angle of it. I wasn't digging it so much, so I put the servo on the can with it. I know it's plastic, but that'll work for now. It's not gonna strip right away. All right, let's go. All right, it's coming on nicely. Woo, very nice. Yeah, I love building these things, man. I know it's part of the hobby. Gotta enjoy doing this. This is where your peace of mind is. Yep. And peace of mind also comes with the good tools. I swear, man, MIP, don't forget. <laughs> Grab some power tools. All right, bag number seven. Let's go. All right, front upper lower suspension arms done. All right, that's how much I'm using. Because it says here 65.5 millimeter. 65.5, and that's exactly it. Yep, that much. See those lines? All right. So, oof, man, we're, we're going. All right. Let's keep going. All right, that's cool. Drive shaft's already assembled. It's nice, man. Nicely made. Reminds me of a, of a low C. Very nice. At least it's already assembled. Yep. Let's keep going. We are now doing the steering box. All right. All right, front steering done, look at that. Whoop, all the way back. Whoop, nice. All right, let's go. All right, moving to the rear. Bag number nine, let's go. Look at that. That's what we're gonna do right now. All right, man, we're almost there. After this, we got bag number 10, which is your suspensions, shocks, and then bag number 11, Body post, bumpers, and yeah, that'll be it. Woo! Almost there. Oh yeah. Rear is done. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Let's go. Bag number 10 is, woo! Shocks. Let's go. All right, done with suspension, finally, whew. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh. What's next, man, what's next? I wanna be done already. Boom, bumpers and body post. Way better. Man, we're almost done, dude. Yeah. Look at that. You got the wing. Is that a wing in the back? Shoot. Front bumper support. Oh, okay. <laughs> Front bumper support. Man, I thought it was a wing. All right. Yeah, man, we're almost done. So, one more bag to go. One more bag. Bumper. We're gonna slap on the tires, put the body on. We're done, man. Let's go. All right, guys. So I just put on the tires and decided I'm gonna start. I'm gonna continue again tomorrow. I'm really tired. I started at eight. It's already midnight. I've been doing it for four hours. So yeah, these are my tires, man. The Yokomo tires. Got the wrap-up wheels, but I'm gonna change them off the DRCs. This will be my outdoor tires, practice tires for the outside. You know, and then I'm gonna get the Yokomo DRCs for. Uh, to head out to slide lines here in um, here in Vegas. All right. Woo! All right, guys. Well, for me, it's another ten hours from now before I start again. For you, it's another two seconds. <laughs> All right. All right. So I slapped on the electronics. <laughs> uh just so I can see where to put them. I don't know where they go yet. I really have to secure the gyro. I did a little test drive. As you can see, the tires are already used. Um, yeah, anyway, good morning, guys. So, we're gonna continue this build. Almost done, rear bumper. 
rear and front bumpers, and then body post. All right, we're gonna be done soon. Let's go. <clears throat> All right, got the front bumper on, the body post. I'm not gonna be using magnet for now. I put the rear post here. I got the diffuser in the back, so you can choose either the Batman style, <laughs> the large diffuser, or the sh or the smaller one. You can choose either one of the two. Yeah, that goes back here like that. But what they want you to use is this one. Uh huh. So for now, I'm not gonna be using anything. All right. I put the body post. Put the body on, and we're done. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's finished now. Boom, there it is. Now I'll put the put the rear diffuser there. Probably I don't know if I want to mount my electronics right there, but damn. Okay, so that's the original body I wanted to use, but the holes don't match on the body post. So I have to wait for magnetic mounts. But for the meantime, I'm gonna be running the 71 Camaro. It's a really old body, man. It's what I had for the for the VTA class racing. Um, that's why I'm using the same body, same motor, the 25 uh, five turn. So yeah, man, that's how it is. I'm gonna be putting it right there. I didn't mount the, the ESC right on top here, which they wanted. Um, yep, that's it, man. So I'm gonna be changing the layout of the electronics soon too, but for the meantime, um, this is what I'm gonna be doing, okay? All right, here we go. We're gonna do a small figure eight test, okay? I'm gonna switch to my GoPro, so please forgive the living room. <laughs> let's All go. All right, let's check it out with a little figure eight test. So I have a secret, guys. I suck at this. <laughs> All right, I'm trying to focus here. Trying not to mess up. Oh. All right, yo, come on, YDS2, really good price, man, really good price. Slap on your electronics that you like, they're good. So I have all these spare electronics. See, as you can see, I'm running the 25.5. I know the wires are a little messy right now, but this is not the, the configuration I want my electronics to be, so I left it like that. I'm not gonna chop it up for now, because I might be switching to different electronics anyway. So instead of shortening the wires, we we'll use that for something else. But yeah, very smooth, man. Look at that. Woo! Very nice, very nice. A simple figure eight. It's handling it really good. There's no turbo in that, but you. <laughs> Get 25.5 winding up. Whoa. That's really cool. All right, let's try with the body on. Whoa. 71 Camaro. All right, that's so cool. Kind of digging this look, man. <laughs> Woo-wee. All right. All right. Woo. Woo. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, oh, yeah. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, please, okay? Support the channel. I got more videos coming up for you all, okay? Peace out. <laughs> Let's make it tighter. Oh. Nice. 